Hello, good day. Today we're going to talk about target games. Target games are games that involve the players in placing an object near or during a target to be ready to get the best possible score. The players must shoot the object with much accuracy and control to hit the target. The player should also know how to keep the object safe to avoid the opposite players from scoring. Target games involve different manipulative skills like throwing, tossing, rolling, catching, running, jumping, hopping, and stretching. One of the target game is the Batuhang Bola. Children naturally like to play outdoor games. One in all the four most common games is dad's ball. Batuhang bola is the Filipino type of dad's ball. It's a game that children usually play the most because it's very enjoyable, fun, and exciting. It really makes children active because it involves throwing, running, jumping, hopping, catching, and dodging which kids really love. It must be done skillfully to possess more fun during this game. Dad's ball or batuhang bola could be a game within which players on two teams try and throw balls to one another while players avoiding being hit. Dad's ball originated in Africa. It absolutely was played there for over 200 years ago. The original kind of it is dangerous and more painful because rather than using rubber balls, they use rocks or the compost matter. That type is played by African tribes to coach them. Another kind of fielding games is the tumbang preso. Tumbang preso knock down the prisoner, also called tumbalata, knock down the can, or batulata, hit the can with a stone or any object is another traditional Filipino children's game. This is just an ordinary game among the youth everywhere in the country, played in backyards, park, or usually on streets. For the objective of building the game enjoyable and exciting, the setup of players must not be more than nine. One player guards the can, and he is called the it while the others stay behind the tall line with their pamato. The target is for the players to hit and knock down the tin with the pamato and for the it to place back the can inside a little circle some at a distance from the tall line. When a player is tagged while recovering their pamato, they become the it. Tumbang Preso is one of the most popular games play within the Philippines. This game is generally played on backyards, open areas, and mostly streets. These are safety measures during playing Tumbang Preso. Warm up before you exercise. Some warm ups are breathing, exercise, shoulder rotation, hip bending, neck bending, arm circling, and foot rotation. The group should hit the can simultaneously. Only hit the can, not the it, nor other people involved within the game. Never hit purposely the one who is guarding the can. Use only the acceptable and proper materials for the game, the empty can and the slippers or flip-flops. Do not be too physical, especially during the tagging time or after the empty can is struck down. Uphold the sportsmanship at all time during the game. Cool down after the game. You may drink a glass of water or you may massage your arms and legs. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.